Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and today we're looking at Impresja, which is spelled I-M-P-R-E-S-J-A. Um, this is a 2017 release game from what I can only assume is an independent developer, since the developer and publisher is listed as one single name, uh, the same name for, for both. There was one other game in 2015 that this developer put on Steam, but he's been quiet now for about three years no big surprise there this is not really the type of game where you can do a lot of research on so let's just jump into it and see how it is this is supposed to be a non-euclidean geometry style puzzle game much like some of the other games i've played although uh this is not anywhere as well played or well received and the fact that it has only about 17 reviews and they're mixed so there could be some stumbling points compared to some better instances um, so it seems like we're gonna have to use WASD and I had not prepared for that I thought this was going to be a full mouse uh, uh, game this was made in unity so there's a lot of opportunity here to call a lot of what we see. Asset flips, crosshair colors indicate possible interactions. There's a left in a blue interaction on the left click, a red interaction on the right click, and progress is saved automatically. I guess the black dot might mean both, or might mean a middle mouse button. It's a little surprising that there's been not that many people or they've been willing to g require middle mouse buttons uh, for gaming it's not like anybody is missing them so we're hearing some music and we're looking at this and I imagine we are just in the game completely so there very well may be some linear logic to where we start um, here we can see there's a little blocks shooting out from this way going in little beams that way but not completely connected beams hmm. so we can pick this up and then we now see the black bars are no longer there and we have a little statue that we're holding well we're holding a picture and the statue was staring at it almost like a museum and right click doesn't do anything left click doesn't do anything until we find something so if I was to guess yeah if we just went in full circle and we can see there's a blue person standing there so that's probably our goal we can see kind of a blinking eyeball purple that way and if we walk back this way it's this again so we're just gonna go in full circles every time and that's not likely to change and then over here we have something different or we can put this up and then that will draw a line for us and this purple eye doesn't seem like it does anything but when we walk through it we now see a green eye up the stairs and a different painting this is a blue and purple painting where this is a purple and green painting which makes me think that there's a whole color puzzle part here all right yeah I see what we're trying to do we're trying to get rid of this green and get more beams through the keyholes all right oh okay I now see what it does it won't let any colors through which Puts us in a kind of weird position. So we take that, and then that stops this. 
and that stops this and this is reflected back on itself and you can't throw things and that would be your my in, inherent like desire here would be to see how can I manipulate this so I can throw something through a place here we have a purple that is a lot of these images don't seem to, to completely represent what you're looking at but they seem to represent enough of it hmm and I wouldn't be surprised if by moving this I've reoriented the world as it were and it looks like there's something you would be able to do here let me double click the middle button just to make certain So we take that and that leaves that one but does it fix anything well it kind of does because now we see a picture where it's supposed to be and we see this where it's not supposed to be and then this Hmm. Maybe you're supposed to be over here? I think this definitely is supposed to be down this way. Though. And we have created something of a mess. And it seems like you can't swap anything easily so how would I get this down I feel like this is now pointing to a different location like how would I get that down oh, there is something you can do with this what did that do It's rotating we want this to look like that is that correct yeah so I think we've rotated that in the right direction But I don't know if, because if we look that way and we assume that each of these, it, these paintings is actually the depiction of what the painting itself should see, the paintings are the eyes and the eyes are not the, the eyes, then yeah, that's probably in the wrong place. But this is in the right place. I. I mean I could move it and I guess it would match either way question is how could it see itself hmm it's it's almost as if these are supposed to be strings in a knot and so we took that down now that is locked off to us now it's not locked off to us interesting so we take this down and now this path is locked off to us and now it's not locked off to us hmm So what have we learned so far? 
of a big green ball. And this almost feels like this is the final goal. Then we have over here this, which this probably is the final goal. And we have over here this. So what happens when this black image, of which we don't see anything, gets put back up here? We still don't see anything. But does that change where we end up in any way? Not really. But it does allow us to potentially get maybe a little bit further but not really because we have let's see this one wants to see this one's clearly in the wrong place this this one wants to see that it's clearly looking from that perspective at that so how can we put this one somewhere? Well, that might matter. That's not seeing that. This is not seeing that. Hmm. There's just like some underlying underlying weirdness around all of this. I can see where people might get frustrated with this fairly quickly in that the game itself is Hey, wait a minute. I think we may have done something here green purple green but at least we would then want to Let's see this one over here I think I'm I think I'm backwards on all of this yeah because I how would I get that over here where I want it to be without pulling out this one yeah because that locks that and then that locks that which means every single area here where see, this one is we need to get two pieces to point that would open up this door where it wasn't green hmm is there a doorway there's a hallway here. So if this hallway went went back to the yeah, of this area allowed then for you to get there we go. That's it. We pull this off. We are now able to move this between one or two places, which frees up a spot here, which means I could either take this one and put it here, or one of the other ones and put it there. Let's see. 
going back this way now has this shooting against this but oddly this seems like this needs purple to unlock hmm. and I feel like we probably will end up taking this whole this whole puzzle further and further hmm nothing stops these from being moved around they can be pretty much anywhere they want to be and here we have an odd intersection here where it's connecting the two places together If I put that back, does that help me in any way? I don't think it does. I think what I need to do is potentially move this out. Hmm. We only have a couple options. Okay. Hmm. It could be that this device. Oh, I. When you right click it, it reflects things. Okay. That's something different. We may have needed that. now we have something hitting this part so we almost certainly need something hitting something hmm this could be a really short puzzle or this could be like four or five hours of, of gameplay Let's see that point doesn't this reflect back into this and so we have a purple green area interesting hmm. well let's move forward we have now some sound effects of birds and a roundabout area a purple area that seems to be another reflection section and it seems to be a painting that is looking at another painting and then this which doesn't seem to match Yeah, almost certainly this doesn't belong here. All right, and so you only have a couple options. And then this one would be stopped there. And that's yet a different color. This one won't let you put picture up. Well, I was thinking this was going to have to go somewhere over here anyways. Like that. If I was to guess how this all breaks down is you want to merge as much of the colors as possible to get like a full spectrum image. There's nothing back here other than green. Nothing sneakily back here. Right, well that 
until we can move this so that this isn't just bouncing back into itself that path is fairly useless which I feel like there probably is something about that hallway that needs to be changed hmm and I guess it really will just come down to how much faith do we have in this all working out. See this top part is changing too. No it's not. Let's see, well, purple. Do we have anything that wasn't purple? that would let us out of this room or are those top doors all purple well these are these are green but there's nothing you can do with that so far so good like uh, I'm not hating this this could easily be five hours of experience and that might be a little frustrating or this could be like 10 hours of of experience and that might be uninteresting or it might be one hour of experience okay so we know that the painting I'm holding here represents that doorway so now it is facing itself seeing itself which that path has always been doing that anyways hmm. and when we take this over and put it over there it doesn't do anything because it duplicates it that, that hallway needs to be broken this hallway needs to be broken the whole pattern needs to be split in half which is probably what this rotation is all about. Hmm. Yeah. I think that's probably where this all breaks down. Is that we need something that would make this stop doing the things it's doing hmm. so now we have an empty hallway over here it goes in the circles I think I'm supposed to do something like this but then rotate it so it goes that direction yeah because now we've got like all of these lines pointing at poles is there anything I think back here no I think you're kind of done with that section at least for now all right and if we took this part moved it not sure that changes anything. Hmm. Not sure any of it changes anything. We need to figure out if there's a combination of these images. Like all three of them it makes sense or if there isn't that's purple that's purple that's purple over there's purple that's green but the off green hmm how does any of this affect that? Hmm. 
would there be anywhere this could point us? I could see that, certainly. And I could move that over there, certainly. But everything screams to me that that's supposed to be that direction. Because when this is off, you still get the black lines. This painting one is seeing the inner room that we need to break. Okay. So what can we do to move that? If it needs to be over here. Let's see what it looks like then. They're keeping things fairly separated apart. So that's nothing. It oddly doesn't seem like it has a bounce back ability. But yeah, until this part breaks, this hall stops, uh, will always loop back onto itself. So that's the exit. So is this possibly a puzzle around just blocking the vision of the characters? No? Hmm. question is how do we specifically change this because the colors are a little bit deceptive Let's see purple Yeah, green at the moment still doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, purple doesn't really mean anything to me. They seem to just be colors that are available to you. So there has to be something more to these. Hmm. I guess the question would be are all of these things that come back up later or what? Because this is the picture right now that shows us the picture we're seeing in the other room. Hmm. So this picture is saying through here to see itself. That's pretty much all I could do with it. Hmm. Unless I'm supposed to do something like this. Like every little change is now just requiring me to run, run around and test it. Because I'm 
at best getting a small percentage of the understanding here. Not, not a complete understanding by any means. That one is bouncing and seeing that one, is it? Interesting. That one hits a wall and goes through, but this one bounces and sees the other one. Hmm. So when we do this, it seems like green absorbs. Okay. So we need, is this the same place? Hmm. Yeah, this is the same place. We need this one to probably not absorb itself but instead bounce or bounce itself and see itself which at some point means we would have to get get a second picture in this section which we have done wow I don't know exactly how I did it but I moved it so we've still got a little bit of a puzzle here though because we need to decide which of the three of these do we not want seeing. Let's take this one off. This secondary puzzle might very well so we now know that the painting we're holding makes that path and so putting that there absolutely messes us up but this bouncing over this direction seems to not mess us up which kind of means this is our only choice Hmm. This area is still locked. Hmm. What happens if we do this? Does that change anything? Or did that fix something? Because this now connects to that, which maybe connects to that. And yes, we did finally make a change. So no longer is it just a repeated hallway. So we can now grab this, come over here. Yeah, this is one of those games where, where I end up saying the word this quite a lot. Because it, it really is just grab object A and move it to point B over and over and over again. Okay, so what's the next step? We've got that pointing somewhere. We've got this working fairly well. I don't think there's a way that we'll ever bring back a green painting. Nor do I think we're going to bring back a green painting anywhere further. So if we bring up that 
And this will probably just gonna have to rotate a lot of things, certainly. Um, what this really is boiling down to now is how do we get rid of the thing that was stopping us? Like, because they're one of these doorways originally was pointing somewhere else and so it's going to be just a hassle of figuring out what's the next place now we did it green and yellow section hmm and so we just don't know how big this this level is or this puzzle is so there could be it looks like there's an eight or an infinity symbol up there looks like there's no symbol up there but quite a lot looks like this yellow section is is where the music's gonna shift and then we have a yellow and red section and the yellow and red section apparently is locked so I think we know what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up part of the section because of one section being done and part of the section because of another section being done well wow, they all seem to rotate and they all seem to lift up okay I think we can pretty well figure out how this is going to go. And then you have the yellow and green part here. Then another, what, having trouble walking forward. Another part here. Man, either my batteries are dying on my keyboard or. We're getting some wonkiness. Alright, well. Hmm. Start with this one. You can't go anywhere there with that. You can't go anywhere with that. You can't cross the line with that. So, you know this only goes in one place then you know that only does one thing with it and either that is the right solution which I doubt or that's the right solution which I highly suspect is true And let's just make an assumption here that these two puzzles are wrong. And it's supposed to look at itself like that. And then, let's see. If I raise this green one it's always gonna block which is probably right at some some point hmm. the eyeball with the key image does seem like it is a weird design from a far distance. Yeah. All right. Put that down. Put that down. If we put that down, there's no choice. So we've got to split it at this point, and then we've got to rotate it. Seems like the audio might be a little bit echoey too. 
I don't feel like there's a great argument for... And this green would be rotating other greens. And I think what this boils down to is we need to be able to get a green image into this final hallway, which that would be really the only thing we could do. Yes, we've just got more to see and more to do. However, hmm. Let me just hit escape and I think we'll have to leave it at that. I need to look at my keyboard and see what's going on. You know, my keyboard is just dying or the batteries are low, but I, I'm getting to the point where I'm having to bang quite a lot on the buttons to get it to stop to move forward. So far, so good. Um, who knows, this could be two episodes long, this could be, um, obviously it won't be one, this could be ten episodes long. That's going to be it for this recording, though. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. And if you want to support me further, there's a link to Patreon, or you can friend me on Steam and gift me a game off my wishlist. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.